This is a tutorial on how to tie an alpine butterfly. Now most of the examples and tutorials that you find will show the alpine butterfly being tied as the loop in a long piece of line that you might secure something to, like another line or for mountain, mountaineering, for example. But the uh, alpine butterfly can also be used successfully to tie a line to a ring or to a fixed object, much as we would commonly use a bowline. This is a bowline, and we'll start our example of the alpine butterfly by removing the bowline from the line and now show how instead we could tie an alpine butterfly. We start by putting a loose overhand knot in the line, much like this. We then pass the bitter end of the line around the fixed object or through the ring um, and then down through the loop so it parallels the standing end of the line. Now we then, to finish the knot, just turn it back up over the top of the knot around behind the two parts of the line that went around the loop, the ring, or the fixed object, and then back down through the loop again, paralleling the standing end of the line, and then we dress the knot snug and tight like we should with any knot. This is the characteristic look of the alpine butterfly. We note that the two lines here are crossed, and on the back side we see two loops in parallel side by side. And when it's dressed down snugly like this, it looks this way. Now the advantages of the alpine butterfly are first that it's an extremely stable knot. We can pull it on either leg or in any direction and it holds very, very securely. Um, secondly, that it's extremely strong. It weakens the line much less than virtually any other knot. And lastly, that it won't jam under load so that even after I put very, very high loads on it, it's quite easy to take it apart. Uh, we do that by breaking the knot down, much like we would with a bowline or any other knot where we have loops that we can slide down to open up the knot and allow us to then remove the lines and take the knot apart. So that's our example on how to tie the alpine butterfly.